Let's see how to solve the nice exponential equation. To reduce the number of functions, let's change sine x to cosine x. We know sine x squared equals 1 minus cosine x squared. So we get 4 to the power of 1 minus cosine x squared plus 4 to the power of cosine x squared equals 4. We can write the first term as 4 over 4 to the power of cosine x squared plus 4 to the power of cosine x squared equals 4. To make the equation simpler, we do a substitution. Let t equals 4 to the power of cosine x squared. So we get 4 over t plus t equals 4. Both sides multiply by t. So we get 4 plus t squared equals 4t. We can move the left, uh, turn 4t to the left side. So we get t squared minus 4t plus 4 equals 0. That is a perfect square, right? t minus 2 squared equals 0. So we get t equals 2. Now let's get back to x. We know 2 is just 2 to the power 1, so e equals t, but t equals 4 to the power of cosine x squared. Let's make them have the same base. So we change 4 as 2 squared and then 2 to the power of cosine x squared. So we get 2 to the power of 2 times cosine x squared. So same base 2, we get same exponent. So we get 2 cosine x squared equals 1. Both sides divide by 2, so we get cosine x squared equals half. Taking square root, so we get cosine x equals plus or minus square root 2 over 2. So we have two cases to consider. The first one, if cosine x equals square root of 2 over 2, then we know there's two angles. One is 45 degree, right? 45 degree. Another is 360 minus 45. Yeah, so it would be 315. So x equals 45 or 315 degree. Then cosine x equals negative square root of 2 over 2. So Cosine x equals negative square root 2 over 2. Then we also have two angles. One is 90 plus 45, which is 135. So the angle is 135. Yes, so x equals 135 degree. Or 180 plus 45, which is 225. So 225. So we get four solutions to the given equation. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.